Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're doing an Abercrombie denim video. Not really a haul because these are all jeans that I have already had in my closet, but what's great about Abercrombie is that um, they have the same jeans year after year. They usually just release different washes and then they continue to add new styles. And I've been buying their jeans for the past few years now, so I have quite a few pairs that I love. Okay, so as I'm filming this, it is currently August 1st, but you're not gonna be seeing this until August 11th because Abercrombie is doing a denim sale August 11th through August 14th. And unfortunately right now that's all I know. So I will put up on the screen and down below in the district description box the details of the sale as far as like what's the percentage off of jeans, is it off of the whole site, is there a stackable code, all of that good stuff. The information will be there for you if you are watching between the 11th and the 14th. If it's after the 14th, then you're still gonna get some good outfit inspo and Abercrombie's always doing sales, so you can probably get yourself a deal. But what I thought I would do, because I knew the sale would be coming and I'd have enough time to film this ahead of time, I'm going to style my favorite Abercrombie jeans and I'm gonna style them for pre-fall because at this point it's gonna be almost the middle of August and for me in Florida, that is not nearly close to being fall, but for a lot of you it is. And again, I feel like a lot of times with outfits, you know, it's going to depend on like what you're doing too, because so many places are cold inside. So yeah, that's what I thought we would do. So I'm going to put together some outfits for you and I will obviously tell you about each pair of denim as I'm doing that. I do have a couple like all of my jeans videos from the last couple years you could check out too, where I'll go like more in depth into each pair of denim, but yeah, let's get started. As always, guys, every outfit is going to be linked down below, and I'm just going to go ahead and number each outfit up on the screen for you. That way, it'll make it much easier to shop. So for the first pair of jeans, these are the 90s ultra high-rise straight jeans. They are curve love. I think at this point, I might only have one pair of jeans that aren't curve love because they probably bought them by mistake. I do like the curve love. They fit my body better. These are obviously a black wash. Now these are in my true size 26, but I have this style in 26 and 25. So I kind of feel like I can do either and I tend to size down in the darker washes. So I do have another black wash. It's like a lighter black wash and a 25. So it kind of gives you a little bit of a range. I always do the regular length and I am 5'7 for reference. So I style these like really just like casual. I have on um, a scoop neck tuckable tank from Abercrombie, my Veja sneakers, and then this is just a classic staple piece I feel like everyone should have in their closet unless you really hate blazers. But this is their classic suiting blazer. They're constantly releasing different colors, but I have it in this like really light cream color. I have it in black. I have it in like a lavender color that was only available for a very limited time. But I know right now they have it in quite a few shades. It's such a great piece. It's a small, but again, all sizing and links will be down below. Um, this is outfit number two. I'm styling the 90s relaxed jeans. I did size down in these. These are, it's so tough. Like I feel like a lot of times they'll call them white but they're like the slightest bit of cream. But they're obviously like a white cream wash. I do have them in a light wash as well. I did size down um, in both of them, even in the lighter wash, which is strange for me. Um, I think the 26s were too big in my waist. They do feel like they are like a little bit more snug like through here, but I know from wearing them out already that they are going to loosen up. So I have the same scoop net tank on. It's such a great basic piece. I actually have this in white and black also. I love that it's long enough to tuck in, but I'm not actually wearing a bodysuit. And then these sandals I picked up during the Nordstrom anniversary sale which unfortunately is going to be over by now, but you could still get the sandals. They just won't be on sale. But I love them. They're so good. I did size down a half size in them because they do have more of a narrow foot. I've already worn them out. They are so comfortable. Now, the denim jacket, I wasn't sure of. I wanted to put a layer on for you guys, but I honestly cannot tell you the last time 
that I wore a denim jacket, but I do still have a few in my closet and I, I haven't gotten rid of them. I've gotten rid of ones that are very fitted with the oversized ones I've held on to. So this is an Abercrombie one, obviously light wash. Um, I doubt this exact one is going to be available. I wanted to check the size. This is a medium, so I did size size up in it. But here's the look without the jacket. I mean, I feel like it's so cute without the jacket. I don't know. A blazer would also work. I was just trying to switch it up for you guys. Again, here's the jeans. Like I said, they're a little bit more snug through the thigh, and they really shouldn't be because they're relaxed jeans. But like I told you, they're going to loosen up after sitting. I promise I'm going to take this tank top off. I really am, but I just feel like every time I change the jeans, like it just looks so good. So these are the taper jeans they're called, and I did size down in these, and you can see these are a very loose fit. So I feel like everyone's going to have to size down in them. Um, a lot of times I, ha I have to size down for the waist. I'm almost kind of thinking that my true size in the Abercrombie might just be 25 now, but they look so good. They're so flattering. I'm not sure. I don't think I have these in any other wash. Oh, I did. I bought these in another wash a while back, and then Abercrombie sent me a pair of Hollister jeans instead, and then they were out of stock, so I was never able to get them, which was sad because I do really like them. I might have to check and see if... They are available in, in a blue wash, but yeah, they're so good. I have the same shoes on. All right, guys, as promised, <laughs> the tank is off. So these are the original 90s ultra high rise straight jeans that I purchased, I think a couple years back at this point. This is the light wash. They were my best seller, I think for 2022 through my like to know it links. And they are so good. I've worn them so many times. I feel like I would never get rid of them. I hate saying that because at some point it seems like we do, but I love these. So these are my true size and I have to say that I don't I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if like a couple years ago the sizing was a little bit different, but just keep that in mind that, you know, I bought these like when these jeans first came out. But anyways, I styled them really casual. These are a new pair of OnCloud sneakers. I also picked these up during the Nordstrom sale. I feel like it's the best. Like, I, I love buying shoes during that sale. And then this is an Abercrombie tee I've had for a little bit now. It's called the Wedge Tee. Um, it's short but oversized. It's a small. It's just really, like, comfortable. And I feel like this is just a great cash style, these jeans, again, because I love them that much. And I wanted you to see how they looked with the heel. So I've had these black slides for a while and then this cute little sweater tank I have styled in other videos. I have not been able to find this online so I will just link like other cute sweater tanks. Um, but yeah, just, just another cute look. Um, those of you that watch my videos like religiously, you're like seeing pieces you've seen before, but I want to do more of that. I'm obviously going to keep doing hauls. Um, but for those of you that don't know, I'm currently building a custom house and we should be in the house by April, which is super exciting. It's also super expensive. So I have been trying to limit my spending and really just like get pieces that I really need for my closet. Um, and just budgeting a little bit more. So it's okay to wear the same things over and over guys. And that's why I feel like I can help you style these pieces that we love multiple ways. These are also the 90s ultra high rise straight jeans, obviously just in brown, but these are sized down. So I just wanted you to see what they look like in the 25. And I bought these, um, obviously like none of these are new in my closet. And for a while they didn't have brown, but I know they have a brown option again. It might maybe a little bit darker. It's hard to tell when you're just looking online though. But I went ahead and did another sweater tank. I feel like sweater tanks are such a great transitional piece. Piece. I mean, I honestly, I'm kind of okay with wearing them all year round, but I feel like they're really good in the like summer to fall uh, months or the transitioning months, whatever you want to say. So this is just another cute little one I have. Again, I will just like link some similar ones for you. And then I just put on my fewer slides to, um, 
yeah, I just love them. I feel like they look so good with this outfit. And um, usually whenever I link these, I then also link the Steve Madden ones, which are very similar. Next style of jeans that we have are the dad jeans. And I went ahead and put on my black pair. I did size down in these also. And usually you would think dad jeans would be really baggy. Um, but by sizing down in them, they're not for me. And I do have... I. Do you have a pair still that's 26? I actually sold a couple of my other pairs that you would have seen in my jeans collection video because they were just too baggy. They were too big in the waist. I wasn't going to wear them anymore. Like, I just love this style. I like when it fits in my waist and then it's just, I like it. So I feel like this looks, I really like bright pink, obviously with the Barbie movie, like pink is everywhere, but I love bright pink. I love pink and I, in particular, in particular, I love pink with brown or black, so I wanted to just give you guys an outfit like that. This tank I've had for a while from a boutique, but again, I will try to link something similar style-wise and color-wise, and then these are the same Steve Madden slides I had on earlier. Another casual look, this time with a pair of mom jeans. I have quite a few pairs of Abercrombie mom jeans. I think I have at least four. They are true to size. They're so comfy. Mom jeans are a little bit shorter. So even though these are regular length, you can see that they're hitting me higher up, but I'm okay with that. I don't feel like I need it to get long. This is obviously a distressed pair, but I just paired them with this soft stream Lululemon sweatshirt. It is so comfortable. And then I just put a pair of white sneakers back on. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions on any of the jeans, just let me know in the comments down below. If you are going to shop the Abercrombie denim sale, then happy shopping, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.